Hello again. I'm sorry for posting Monday's batch of videos a little bit late. I got caught up watching another fantastic Brooklyn Nets victory. Um, even though they shouldn't have had to go to overtime against the Spurs. Uh, still a good victory for, uh, yeah, probably the best team in basketball. Uh, I wanted to talk in this video just about this descriptive assignment that you might have seen that I posted. Uh, the assignment sheet for, make sure you go through that. This week on Moodle, it says descriptive assignment sheet. Um, so this is the first of our small writing assignments. I, I usually do this, you know, a little bit earlier in the course, but just with the, the online stuff, it was, felt a little all over the place. So I, so I wanted us to get through that first essay before we got into this. So this is not an essay. This is more of like a writing exercise, you could think of it. Um, I don't need like an introduction or conclusion or things like that. It doesn't need to be overly formal or anything. It's just kind of, yeah, for us to try out some, some different writing uh, styles and techniques and stuff. <clears throat> and so this one, yeah, I think this, this one goes a lot more with like the, the short stories that we were doing. So it's a descriptive assignment, right? And, and as you can read on it, I say, um, I would like you to describe a place that you associate with your childhood. It could be your room or another room, or just a place that you went to visit um, when you were a child. Yeah, and I go on. So uh, I'm looking to describe a place, right? So I don't necessarily want you to like tell a whole story. Um, I just want you to kind of focus on uh, the description of like a setting. So this kind of goes back to, if you remember, and I guess you could go rewatch this, but if you remember uh, when we first started looking at some stories, I think when we did Araby, I kind of went through the first page of the story and I talked about kind of the vibes that it was giving off and, you know, how it mentions um, a dead priest and, and uh, musty air and uh, useless paper littered on the floor um, and, and how all of these uh, descriptions, these details, while they might seem like unimportant or random, one thing that they do is create a kind of vibe or a mood or a tone. So that's kind of what I want us to try to do here. Um, and I thought, you know, by asking you to write for something with your childhood, I think there's always, uh, those are like emotionally loaded things usually. So uh, maybe it'll be easy for us to, since there are things that are, you know, maybe kind of emotional memories. Anyway, it'll be easy to kind of generate the, the vibe out of that. Um, so yeah, I want you to be thinking about it that way. Uh, like I said later on, some good, th some things to think about. Um, you want to think about sensory stuff, right? Uh, sight, sound, smell, and then I also said feelings and emotions. Um, so yeah, in terms of describing stuff, you want to think of, you know, what, what would it look like? What would it sound like? Maybe taste like, if that's relevant, um, smell like. Uh, it depends the place you're describing, how relevant all the senses are, right? Um, but yeah, I would try to go through all of those. And then um, I want you to be very particular with your word choice, right? Because that was the main thing that we talked about is, is creating this kind of vibe when we're describing things is like the specific word choice. So have that in your mind. What kind of vibe are you trying to create? Are you trying to create like a happy thing, you know? Is it more sad? Is it scary for some reason? <laughs> um, is it, yeah, you know, good or bad, right? And then uh, make sure that you choose words to try to go along with that throughout it. Um, and then I end the, the little sheet by just saying, your goal is to transport the reader to this place that you associate with your childhood and make them share your experience of it. So I think that's that's something with this too. It's like, we're, we're not necessarily trying to create like um, like, a, like a real picture or something, you know? What we're trying to do is, is take the reader to your experience, right? To see it through your eyes, kind of. Um, so it's, it's not like we're doing, you know, kind of like a, like an objective, oh, this is what it looked like. No, it's more like what, 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 not only what did it look like, but how did that feel to you and how did it look through your eyes, um, at the time? So I think that makes sense, but yeah, so I sort of think you can just take it as more of this kind of like mood, uh, creating a mood kind of sense than just, you know, like, like uh, saying what it looked like or whatever. I think this is pretty simple. Um, it's 500 words. It's due the 12th of, uh, of March, which is, I think, next Friday. So you have um, not quite two weeks, a little less than two weeks to work on this. I think this should be easy. 500 words is like, you know, probably a little bit less than two pages. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to grade these too harshly. I just want to see that you're putting in, you know, good effort and, you know, take, take it as an opportunity to maybe write something uh, 
fun, something that, that you're uh, interested in or proud of. And yeah, I think that makes sense. And you can uh, send me an email if you have any other questions about it. But yeah, this is the first that we're going to do with these small writing assignments. So that's how it fits in. I think those are like 10% of the grade, so that's how it fits in there. Okay, so that's this new assignment we're working on.